Welcome everyone on this new Spring Boot tutorial. So today we will practice Spring Data Pagination. So by creating a Spring Boot project, we will be able to store some books in MongoDB database. Then we will create a REST API to get the paginated results. So first, you will have to download some tools. Here, Spring Tools Suits to be able to create our Spring Boot project. So here you can choose your OS. Then you will need Postman to be able to execute some REST API, some REST call. Then Robotruity to be able to uh, see the contents of our MongoDB database. So first you have to start MongoDB on localhost. So you have to download MongoDB. So I have already downloaded the folder just here and once you have downloaded the mongodb folder you go to bin and you copy this pad so now i will go to my command line so cd the pad of the bin of mongodb and mongo mongodb so now i have mongodb running on my localhost and that's all for running mongodb on localhost then I will go to Spring Tool Suits, the chair, and I will create a new Spring Boot project. So new project starter, yes, next. So we give a name to my project. So books pagination. So I'm using Java 8 just here. So next. So I will need Dev Tools. Spring Web, Spring Data MongoDB, and that's all. So, finish. So now I'm waiting to my project to be created. So, my project is created. So, just here, books pagination. So first, I have to specify the port of my application. So to do that, I will open application properties. So server port, for example, it will be 7078. Then I will have to give the URI of MongoDB on my localhost. So MongoDB you tell us 27, 70, and my uh, my database will be named so books p like pagination and that's all. So now I can open my RoboTruity to be able to see my to create my new database. So my RoboTruity is just here. The connection of Mongo Treaty um, is on localhost, so I can see the parameter in manage connection. So here I am on localhost, and here I will create this books p database. So I come here, so create database books p create. So my database is created just here and the collection are empty because we didn't create anything on this database. So that's all. So in our project first I will create my books model. So here it will be a new class. Next. So simple book. Just here. So a book will have a title. Title just here. Then a description, then auto. So we stay simple. And here auto. So we generate a getter and setter. Just here, 
so source generate getter and setter I will choose my tree field generate and that's good for my model so to be cleaner I will create a new package here to put my new model so it's okay for the model so now I have to create a repository to be able to do some stuff on the new MongoDB database so here new it will be a class so book repository and it's not a class it's an interface so new I will look for interface as here and now my book repository is created just here so to be a repository my book repository have to extend mongo repository so my model is book and the key will be string so I have to import Mongo repository and import the book model. So here I will put my interface in repository package to have a clean project here. And last I have to create a controller. To be able to uh, to use a REST API, so I will come here. So book controller. So it will be a REST controller. So I have to import the package of REST controller and here I will use my book repository. So here it's my book repository and it will be auto I have to import everything here. So here I will have three endpoints. So first endpoint is to be able to create new book. So it will have a request body. So book. And now I ha I have to use my repository to insert the book in the database. So insert book and I have to do some import here. And it's a void method because we don't need to return anything. Or for example, we can return a success response. So here return book created success can do something like that then we we'll create another endpoint to be able to list some books so here it will return a list of books list books here we don't need any parameter and here it will be a find all so 
So I will return a list of books. I have to import list just here. Then I have to create my annotation. So first, it's a post method. So it will be post ma mapping, and here create. And here it will be a get mapping. So, so list. So now I didn't create the paginated request yet. But first, let's try our two uh, endpoints. So I will just change the port of my application, so it will be 7080. So my project is book pagination, so I will run my project. Start. Just check a little bit. So it seems okay. The project started well. So the project find the MongoDB database. So just here. There is some opening connection. So now we are good. So now I will create a new project here in my Postman Oops, uh, pagination. So my port is 7080. And first, I will create a new book. So in my body, first example, the title of the book is Legacy Soccer, description, and the author is Maradona. So books crea book created with success. I will check my MongoDB database. So just here, I will do some refresh. So here, student. Uh, book books p that's my database i will open my collection and here i have my first book so let's create another one title post corona so the author will be uh, i don't know for she for example test the story behind uh, vaccine, for example, send another football book. So here we have some cherry only player. So Arsenal glory behind Arsenal success. So I, I will create many books with the same field just to be able to do uh, the rest of the tutorial. So that's okay. I will refresh my database here. And now I have 13 fields. So now we can do our tutorial pagination tutorial. So the create endpoint is working well. So now I will use the list. So I have 70, 80, list, send. So the normal method is returning all the results. So here we have 13 results on our database and the results for the find all. Spring data is 30 result. So here we are not doing pagination, but now we'll create another endpoint to be able to do some pagination, which is the goal of this tutorial. So here I will create another endpoint. The name will be list p like pagination, list book paginated. So here we need an object pageable. So p. And for the find all, I have to give um, an argument which will be the pageable object. 
So here I have to import pageable from Spring Data domain. Let's try. Now it's not ah here uh, the returned object is not a list but a page object. So if you are curious, you can go here on page. In here you have some method. You can get the total element, uh, some stuff like that. And here for the pageable uh, interface, it's an interface. You can uh, you can check check those different methods. If you want to go deeply on pagination subject. So we are good for our um, end point for to get paginated result, results. So here P, but I have to give some argument last year. So here 70, 80. So here I will give two arguments. So here the, uh, the interface just here accept uh, three arguments. The size, the page, and if you want to do some sorting on your results. So here, for example, I want the page number one. The size, the size of the page will be two. Then, in here, I have my uh, page results. So here, the content. Uh, there is three book in my content object. Because I have specified this with the size, so I want three elements, and the page number will be uh, number one. And here you have other information, for example, the total page for our 13 element will be five, the total element is 13 book. And here, for example, I want um, 10 book in my page. So here, um, so page says 10. So I don't know where. Why there is not ten element in my page? So page number zero ah, because there is three uh, thirteen element and the first page is zero. So now I have my ten book just here, and the num the total number of page will be two because we have only thirteen elements. For example, I want five books per page. So here we have five books in the content object. So the page size is five and the total page is three. Because 13 divided by five is about three. And we can also do some sort. So I want my result sorted by title, for example. So here we have a sorting by the title field. Here. So in your front end application, you can use those information of the page object just here to do some pagination so the user uh, will know how, ma how, how many pages for the, the results. So that's all for, for this tutorial, so thanks for watching and see you for other tutorials, thank you.